Lauren, and today I'm going to be talking about everything that goes on in um, a hermit crab molt. So basically, what you should do in the situation is basically just going to be everything that you need to do about hermit crab molting. And I have researched so much for this video. I have gone to multiple websites. I know which ones like are true and I know which ones are not and I decided just to make a huge big video and I also learned some new things while preparing for this video so I'm very excited about this and yeah so let's just go ahead and get right into this video okay so basically when if you don't know what a hermit like what molting is for a hermit crab it is when they shed their skin like their or their claws and so it and they fall off so basically their old claws will fall off like their old body will fall off and um it will and then after it falls off it is called an exoskeleton and is completely normal for hermit crabs this is how they grow and get bigger so that this is why you have to have multiple shell sizes for your hermit crabs is because after they um, molt do this process then they will be bigger so they need bigger shells to fit into and it's just yeah it's just how they grow and all and it's pretty much how you know like how old they are and everything that's sort of like one of the only ways that you can sort of tell because hermit crab age like there isn't really an exact way to tell how old they are really um but yeah, so that's basically what molting is, and yeah, so let me just sort of go ahead and tell you what happens in the whole process. Okay, so signs that your hermit crabs are about to start molting is them drinking more often and like just start eating more than they had been before because they're getting ready to go under, they are ready to start their molt, and um where they will lose their muscle control and they will not have the strength to be up and getting water and food um so they will have to stock up because they will be down there for well it depends on the size so i'll get into that in a little bit but anyway so signs that they're about to go under is that they start digging that they are um just digging more that they are just making tunnels and going under the sand and then just like more of that and that yeah like more eating and everything because they will not come up in the middle of a molt to get more food and water because they will not have the strength to do that because of the stressful process that they're going through to grow and shed their exoskeleton so um yeah so that's just two of the signs that you can tell like if your hermit crabs are about to molt and mine have been doing this a lot lately I have a couple that are buried under the sand right now they have been doing all of these things um making like just digging and eating more and drinking more i've been having to fill up their water and food much more frequently than i had been before they started doing all of that so yeah so those are just two of the signs to look out for I'll also start to notice that they're being a little like less active like they may um, just not be moving around as much as they usually do other than you know being in their salt water and their fresh water dishes and eating um, they will also um, just they'll sometimes their eyes will look a little cloudy or like white a little bit I've seen pictures of people um, posting things like of their hermit crabs and they have like a white eye or um, their their claws will just look different, like sort of like a misty, um, they're, yeah, just like different, that, uh, sort of like pasty, I guess, just not how they usually look, and that means that they are getting ready to molt, so you should leave them alone. Um, if you see any of these signs, I actually do not believe that you should be putting them in a, um, like a, what do they call them? Those other tanks. <laughs> Isolation tank. Okay, yeah, I actually do not believe that you should be putting your hermit crabs in an isolation tank when you see these these signs. Um, I can link um, a couple links, uh, a couple of links to different websites that will further um, talk about that. I don't want to get too much into that in this. Um, maybe I'll make a separate video about that. I don't know yet. But anyway, so if you see these signs, that means that your hermit crab is probably getting ready to molt.
for your hermit crabs to be able to mo molt, especially like if they are bigger, you should have about five to six inches of substrate um, in inside of your tank. Um, they will so that they'll be able to successfully bury themselves, have plenty of room down there to with their shell and all because they if they leave their shell at the top, it's not good. They they will go down into the sand with their shell usually. Like if there there are surface molts and everything, but they'll still be in their shell. Like they won't just leave their shell at the top. So if they just leave their shell like that, that's not really a good sign and it means that your hermit crab is something's is probably wrong if they just leave their shell usually they should bring their shell down when they're molting and yeah so they don't just leave their shell out in the open like that when they're molting or getting ready to molt okay so now I'm just going to go through the um, the four stages of hermit crab molting basically so the first one there are scientific terms for all of these which I cannot pronounce at all so I'm just going to I'll just put the name of the ones like just somewhere here around here because um, I'm not even going to try and pronounce these um, but basically this word right here um, is basically when they are getting ready to molt so they're not quite you know like they're not going to be buried under the sand just yet but is when they are about to we'll have okay so basically like the hermit crab claws that they like you know their regular body um it's when it's still there but there is their next <sighs> so hard to explain so like their next body is coming like it's stored behind their claws that they're having right now like it's it's coming soon so it's it's about this is when they will start storing salt this is why you have got to have salt water um you have just you have got to have salt water in your tank they um if your hermit crab is getting ready to molt and they do not have salt water um it will just be 10 times more stressful for them they have got to have these salts in them to help their new claws come in like they have got to have plenty of salts inside of them to make this process work help like healthily um healthy and just right like just how it's supposed to be if you want it to be successful then you have got to make sure that you have salt water and plenty of salts because they have to have a whole bunch to be able to get their um their new claws in during their molt and to be able to grow and it after so that's just like the pre molt basically what is about to come and now the actual molt also known as this word right here so yes this word um basically it is the um this is when they are buried or surface molting um so this is like when their exoskeleton is in the process of shedding this is when they are really growing Okay, so basically there will be, um, the salts and water is what is going to be helping the hermit crab's old claws crack so that the new ones can get in. So it'll, they'll probably turn a different color and then they will fall off and the new ones will come in. Um, usually the hermit crabs will eat their old claws after um when they start gaining back a little bit of to gain to help them gain back a little bit of strength um basically they th the thing that they're breaking is to so that the new claws can come in um there's another scientific word for this too i think it's called hemolymph hy it's something like that um I can probably link that down too if you want to know more about that but it's basically like their flu like a fluid sort of in their body so it's sort of like their version of blood a little bit like a hermit crab's blood sort of um but it's just it's not the same like you would have to go and study more into that too but yeah so basically this is actually the shortest process um molting is sort of like this it doesn't last too long, but like them gaining back their strength and all of that, that's what sort of takes a little bit longer and yeah, so that is the second stage of their molting. Okay, so now this is basically after the hermit crab is done molting, their old exoskeleton is off, they have got their new claws. Um, once again, here's the word 
that it's actually called, but um, if you don't know how to pronounce it like me, it's called the post mold. So here's the so this is the process when hermit crabs will start to um, their sh their claws will start hardening all together um, so that they can walk again. This is when they will eat their old exoskeleton and this is when they will start gaining up the energy again and soon you will be seeing your previously molting hermit crab again. Okay, so now this one um, is sort of called like just it's basically like the middle of the molt. It's the end of a molt and like it's so it's basically somewhere in between the um, post molt and the actual molt. So it's sort of like the end of the molt and it's like right there between before it eats the exoskeleton. Um, I'll put the word up here again. So this is basically the it's basically a resting time like it's basically um where your hermit crop will just sort of rest because it doesn't have energy it's gaining up the energy um from its calcium and everything and so it's just sort of just after the stressful time of molting just a time to cool off before it to so that it can have um it's basically like a time where it is just gaining up strength resting um and yeah, so it's just in between the post molt and the actual molt. This is also the part, it's like when it's growing. Um, this is the part where it's really growing. Molt is when it sheds its exoskeleton. Um, this is when the uh, middle part is when it <clears throat> is actually growing, regaining energy. And then the post molt is when it is um, just eating it's just really getting more energy and that's when it eats its old exoskeleton and yeah so that's basically those that's basically all the you all the four stages of molting that they'll go through um the one in the middle is the longest because it's the time where it's actually growing and everything so yeah so that's basically those four stages now I'm going to be telling you how long um, each hermit crab, depending on the size, um, about the average time that they will be down, they can be down there molting. So um, if you have a tiny hermit crab, um, they will usually do it probably about five to six times a year, um, maybe a couple more or maybe four to six. It just depends really um, because T smaller hermit crabs will molt more times a year than bigger ones because they have more to grow and bigger ones are older and they just yeah like they just um don't need to grow as much and so they don't they won't do it as often um tiny hermit crabs will probably be under there for about two weeks at a time molting doing this whole process and yeah so i think that yeah that's all for tiny hermit crabs and then if you have a small hermit crab they will usually do it about three to four i believe three to four times a year and small hermit crabs will probably be under there for about a month so yeah and then for medium hermit crabs usually a medium hermit crab would probably be about that big maybe like that um, they would probably be down there for about one, they'll be down there about, around like one, for about, yeah, one to two months, one to two times a year. So they don't have it as, as much as a small hermit crab or a tiny hermit crab, obviously. And yeah, so then for big hermit crabs, so big hermit crabs will probably be down there about two to three months and one, t but only like one tiny year, because as I said, they don't have to grow as much. But jumbo crabs, um, those are like the big ones, like this big, um, they will probably, usually they'll be down there for about three months, and usually that'll only be like every, just like once a year or once every year and a half, um, because yeah, they're just already so big, so they don't really need, they don't need to molt as often, so... And yeah, so that's basically all you need to know about hermit crumb molting. I hope this helps all of you. Um, I know this video 
turned out to be pretty long, so hopefully you did learn something new about hermit crab molting, or now you will, you'll understand it better. So yeah, and if you have any additional comments um, about molting, just feel free to comment that down below, and I will answer as soon as I see it. And yeah, so thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!